Hi guys, it's Angela with Create Your Future. I am back today and in our video, I want to talk about setting boundaries. So this um, is a question I think that we've had show up in comments on videos. Um, it's something I talk about with clients and it's a really great topic. So I'm really excited to talk about this and share um, my perspective on setting boundaries when you are manifesting. So um, I want to start, let's just jump in. I want to start um, by saying that our boundaries are something that can help you disengage from what you're seeing in the 3D and really solidify your story within because that is what this whole process is all about, right? It is focusing more on our internal story, our desired end, the outcome that we prefer, and really turning our face the other direction and not looking at those circumstances, those things that are showing up in the moment. It's, it's kind of removing ourselves from those situations that trigger us, basically. So first of all, I, I do want to tell you that if you're in a situation where there is any kind of abuse at all, definitely boundary. Yes. Get out of that situation. Um, make sure that you are safe. Sometimes we feel like, you know, if we are manifesting the new version of our person that we just have to, or, or anybody, doesn't have to be like a specific person in, in a romantic sense, but we feel like um, we have to power through certain things and just endure so that we can get to that end. But in the case of someone being abusive, never, never, never stay in that setting. Um, because if you do that, Number one, you know, you're you're not taking care of yourself. And remember, this is your reality. This is your world. You are the priority. And when you are the priority, you deserve 100% to be safe, to be treated with kindness and gentleness and all of those very good things. And if you are allowing abusive things to occur in your reality, then you are accepting it. It's almost as if you are intending and affirming for those things to continue. So prioritize yourself, always get yourself in a safe place and get out of a situation where there is any kind of abuse happening. Now, if you really care about someone and they are acting that way, but you really believe in a different version of them, and you want to work on that, you still can. I would never tell you that you can't. You can um, intend and believe in the very best version of them showing up um, because there are infinite versions of everybody. But you need to do that from a safe place, and you need to do that um, from a place where you can kind of clear that old story. And if you are, you know, continually living and experiencing that abusive behavior, your mind and your emotional state is not even going to be able to focus on a new story. You're going to be living in what we would say a survival mode. And you're not going to be able to get to that place internally where you can see your person differently. You can see your worth and your value and you can begin to move in living in the end of a much better experience. So, um, get out of any kind of situation where there's abuse. If you do choose to see somebody differently, you can do that from a safe place. And I think any coach would tell you that. Take care of yourself. It's your re reality. You're the priority. Make yourself safe. All right. Now let's talk about um, other areas probably that most of us have experienced, which would be maybe you have someone in your life is just maybe not really respectful. They are not prioritizing you. They don't value your time. They're not showing respect for your time. They're not showing up um, for your dates. They're not um, treating you the way that you want to be treated. Um, just things that might be going on that in general, just, you know, we don't like things that are not as we would want them to be. Again, if you are going to continue to stay around that and it is triggering something within you, 
a boundary can be very helpful because if we see something continually in the 3D and it's affecting us, so it's creating an emotion, it's creating feelings, that is connecting us to our state, our state of being, where our consciousness is. We are in this state and we tend to feel like I'm not respected. I'm not prioritized. My time isn't valuable. I'm not getting all of the things that I want. We identify with this state that is corresponding to what we see out there. And as we identify with this state, our thoughts are going to begin to go there. And we are just maintaining this. It just stays. We kind of get stuck in this loop with that kind of behavior. So stepping back, stepping away from that can be very effective because it gives you a chance to now focus on the new story. It gives you a chance to focus on yourself being prioritized, yourself being very valuable, yourself being the one that, you know, is honored, all of those good things. It gives you a chance to see your person different, differently. It gives you a chance to focus on that version of your person that is respectful to you, that is their very best self, that is giving you all of the things that you want. And staying around that situation when you're getting that really negative behavior, again, is almost as if you're affirming for it because you're, you're allowing it to continue. You're allowing it to be in your experience. So you can tell your person, um, this just doesn't work for me right now. I don't, I don't need to be around that. Or you don't even have to say anything. You can just back up and kind of remove yourself from interacting with that behavior. They are energetically going to feel that shift within you. And because everyone is you pushed out, they will start responding to that new story. And when you are in a place where you're not having to look at that behavior, you're not having to see it, you're not giving it your energy because you're not interacting with it. Your new story, that story of who you want your person to be and who you want to be becomes dominant. You begin to feel strong in this story because you don't have the negative story showing up in your face. You are so focused on the new internal story. And I think that's the most important thing here is to realize that when you are being triggered by that 3D, that is kind of a clue to maybe move yourself away from that so that you can be so focused on the story that you want. You can be more focused on the things that you are now looking to. You're now looking to this new story. You're looking to this new version of someone. You're looking to that new version of you and you have taken your eyes off of the stuff that just is yuck that you don't like. So a boundary is really, really helpful in doing that. Um, I've also had clients uh, come to me where there has been maybe a, a third party or maybe they're in a, a friends with benefits situation that my client wants the exclusive committed relationship, but they are accepting breadcrumbs. They're accepting that third party. They're accepting, you know, their person going out and dating and doing all kinds of stuff. Um, and the thing that I hear often is, well, if I, if I don't keep seeing them on these terms, their terms, um, I won't get to see them at all. You know, I'm afraid they'll totally dump me. They're going to break up. They're totally going to leave me. Well, if that is what you're thinking about, then first of all, you have that fear within you that that's going to happen. That's going to push out anyway, right? Because that's where you're coming from. That's that state. And secondly, if you're accepting just those breadcrumbs, if you are accepting that you're just going to be um, one of many in this person's life, then that's going to continue to be that story because you're giving that place. You're letting that be your experience and you're basically saying, I'm okay with that. So that's another time where you can say, no, not in my reality. I am the one and only. I am on the priority. I am the one that is chosen 
above all others. And so I'm going to be over here. I'm going to keep, you know, all of my energy for me focusing on myself and how amazing I am and how I want to be treated. And when you do that, your person is going to come back around and show you that. doesn't matter what they say in the moment. doesn't matter if they say, oh, fine, I have others. Oh, fine, I'm done with you. Whatever, you go within, you remove yourself from all of that, you know, undesirable behavior in the 3D and focus on how amazing you are and that new story. And that's eventually going to push out and be your truth. So you can put a boundary up for that kind of a relationship when it's not serving you because tolerating it and staying in that interacting with it is just feeding it and allowing that to grow. All right. So don't ever be afraid to step back and say, no, absolutely not. I am always the priority and I get everything that I want. And I will work on my internal story and that will show up for me. Now, you know, if your person, and remember, we're not always talking about a romantic partner, it can be anybody, but if there's someone in your life and say they just maybe push your buttons from time to time, there's uh, some annoyances that come up that you don't like, but it's not really triggering. It's not so much so that it creates a state within you where you're feeling I'm not respected and I'm not loved. It's just maybe an annoyance that flares up. That's really not a situation that would be necessary, that you would have a boundary. You simply, if you are really strong and really confident in who you are, if you're not being pushed so much that it's changing your state, you can just you know, smile, look the other way, go within and say, you know what, my person says and does this. You know what, everyone treats me like this. I know I'm going to see what I desire in the next minute because this is changing. You know, you don't have to have the boundary in a situation like that. But for those situations where you are really getting triggered, where you are really internalizing what you're seeing, and it's in your face to the extent that it's hard to change that story. It's hard to see someone differently. It's hard to believe, you know, that you deserve different behavior. The boundary can really be effective. And don't worry, your, your person, nobody is going to go anywhere. This is your reality. As long as you are focusing on a new story, as long as you are for focusing on a new version of them, as long as you are focusing on... Um, a better experience and you are entertaining that thought now, they're not going anywhere. Okay. They're not going anywhere. And you're not going to have to see some of that stuff that can trigger you and pull you back to that old state of being. That's what we want to happen. We want to stay in the new state where the new story is, because that's how we align to the new experience, the new version of someone, the new version of ourselves. So boundaries are really effective when you are being triggered, when you are feeling yourself continually moved back into the old pattern, the old story, the old version of your person. A boundary is super helpful. So consider putting a boundary in place if you feel stuck, if you feel like you're not getting into a new state of being, if you feel like you can't maintain this new thought, this new pattern of your story, because what you're seeing keeps triggering you and keeps pulling you back again and again and again. Boundaries are helpful and they're effective. So I intend that this was um, very helpful for you and that you can put a boundary in place if you feel like you need to do that. And you can be really strong and know that you are now allowing yourself to focus on the story that you want to see have happen. Guys, if you would like to work with me, I would love to help you get built up in that new story, help you stay strong. And, you know, if you're putting that boundary in place and it feels a little scary or shaky in the beginning, I can help you and encourage you. I've been down this path and I've applied this myself and I've seen it work. So sign up for coaching. Our links are down below. And I do want to remind you, we're giving away a course. Um, 
I've heard there's some really great feedback. And if you're interested in finding out about how to get that course, look in our description box. So thank you for watching. I'll see you the next time. Bye.